think token, you can also think like Yak word. Uh, uh, <coughs> it's basically at the leaf of a tree. Okay. So it's then pretty easy to traverse the tree and generate bytecode as you go, which I'll show you later, or de execute the code as you as you parse the tree. Okay. End of theory. Enough? <coughs> so because we now understand parsers compilers, we can start to write our own language. Uh, of course, uh, as good Java developers, we like to use libraries and frameworks. Yeah, we don't write code; we just search Google for next framework, and then it does the work for us. So this is one of the available parser lexer generators for Java. <coughs> In my personal opinion, but this is my personal opinion, one of the best, especially after release number four, when they change the architecture and, and the structure of the parser completely. It's Andelar from Terence Parr. <coughs> Okay. Let's take a look at example of this. This is Lexer from Andelair. So it basically tells you, it basically tells, this is the grammar, and the grammar tells the Andelair how to understand your source code. It's the story from my school when I was young. I really had a problem to learn to read. Not because I'm stupid, but I wanted to read the whole page at the same time. So what my teacher did, she cut a small window in a sheet of paper and she was you know, covering the whole page and focused, helped me focus just on one word. And this is Lexing. You go by the, through the stream and you, and you identify words. So for example, this one, string. It says whenever you find something which, which 